all right quick little quick little uh video here on uh doing an insulation test on a 30 horse baldor uh, rolled steel motor um i've got the fluke 1507 insulation tester i've got the ground right there it's on on the ground where the, it connects and i have the uh hot test lead on uh, T3 from power coming in from the frequency drive. The motor's isolated. Uh, it's isolated from the power leads. It's just by itself. So right now I'm testing between the leads and the frequency drive through the conduit. And uh, greater than 500 mega ohms. Uh, I'm on uh, T2 now. Greater than 500 mega ohms. I'm on T1. All right, so we don't have any, we don't have any brake shorts or anything in the power supply leads. So now we are going to test. Orange is. Uh, T3 to the motor. There it is, right there. About one mega ohm of resistance. It should be greater than 550 mega ohms. So this motor is definitely no bueno. But let's continue the test anyway and be thorough. T2. Yep, same reading. And we all know T3 is going to read the same, or T1, I'm sorry, T1 is going to read the same way. It has to. There's T1 right there. One mega ohm. So that's a done deal. Motor's bad. It's in a very large air handler. And, uh, <laughs> Look at the door that we have to get it out. The damn motor's probably every bit as wide as the door. So we may wind up having to disassemble the side panels and pull it out with a crane. I don't know, but there it is. Very simple testing to make, you know, to find out if your motor's good or bad. Uh, this one actually, believe it or not, uh, didn't immediately trip. The frequency drive didn't immediately pick it up. Uh, it would start up and run up to about 800 RPM before the frequency drive would trip out. And it usually would be on overcurrent, but this time it was over voltage. So I think I've got trouble. I've got a problem with both my drive and my motor. But anyway, that was a quick, easy test. Uh, take it easy.